Hello everyone, how are you? This is Casey Zeman here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video for you today in regards to embedding a video into a WordPress blog, into your post. Embedding a video into your post um, so that people can see a video and see the vibrancy and the uh, dynamic of what a video can allow. So we're going to want your video to look something like this on your site. Now this we're going to is my main is my my blog site. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's live. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in something like this. Okay. As you can see, we have a video, we have text, and the video now. This particular video is uh, not hosted with YouTube. It's actually hosted with uh, Amazon S3. But uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to show you what it looks like with YouTube, OK? Because YouTube is relatively universal, OK? OK, now, before we do, this is what the back office of my blog looks like, OK? Every WordPress blog has this back office, OK? This dashboard with uh, you can click here to go back to what your site looks like live um, and each post is where you put your content you put your content in the post and you can also allocate if you want that post to be a page or a category um, in, in this instance we're not going to worry too much on what that is right now we are simply going to do one very simple thing and that's upload a video onto the post okay so Right now you're looking at the post and you are looking at this toolbar right here which is a visual editor. Okay? Um, it, you should probably know you probably know what this is if you've ever done any any word processing. You know, if you've ever used Microsoft Word and made a document, this is exactly what you see on there. You see a bold, you have italics, um, you see a strike through. This is uh, uh, bullets and numbering and and uh, here you can change the text color with that said I'd like us to go into YouTube okay all right now let's go into YouTube and I have decided that I'm going to take this video okay from YouTube and put it into my post okay now the way you can find a video is very simple uh, if I wanted to find a video about uh, you know any video, I would simply click it, put it in the search bar here, and then I would scroll down till I found it. And for this, and, and I've decided that for this one, I'd like to use actually, let's use this one the, the video, music video road trip. So let's go back. Yep, oh, yeah, that was it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. Click on the music video road trip. Okay, that's where you want to click. The title of the video is where you click to get the to get the video embed code to put it into your blog okay so click on the title <clears throat> and now here's the title so now what we're gonna do is we're going to look at two things uh, we're going to look at the embed area right here and share as well okay alright so the embed if we click on it you'll see that what comes up is a lot of code okay and I don't want that to freak you out but this code is what we're going to be putting in to the website alright now this code is pretty much what this video is just in code form alright so uh, clearly what you do when you're copying and pasting anything is you uh, you click it and copy um, with Mac is command C or, or on a PC it's right click and then scroll and then copy and uh, and the other thing I wanted to actually notice or, or have you uh, notice is this area right here uh, very kind of important and a lot of people don't even consider it um, you can choose how you want this video to look on your site so maybe um, you don't want to see all those videos pop up at the very end of the video I don't know if you know what that is but it gives you YouTube gives you a related videos in a line that you can choose from from it and you know if you're putting a video in your site and you're trying to be very specific with what you're doing with your video oftentimes those other videos can be a distraction to the to the viewers so 
In my case, I'm going to click that I don't want. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I don't want to include related videos, okay? Um, show border. Yeah, I'll say that. I want the border. I mean, this is the, what the border looks like, that blue. If we click it, we don't have it anymore. Actually, I like it without the border. Enable privacy enhance mode, which means that um, uh, that the video, I believe that the video still cannot be seen unless it is sent uh, by somebody else. Play in HD, okay, you can actually, as you can see, the width and the height changed drastically. It just got gigantic because if we're doing it in HD, it's got to be huge, okay? So let's click on that, and, uh, and so they're not using that. And then you can use an iframe embed code, which is kind of cool. Um, and so let's maybe look to see what that is. I kind of like that. I use iframes for a couple of different things of mine. So I want to test, test that out. Now what this is below is, and, and you can see everything change in this, um, this example right here, that you can decide what color player you want. You know, if you want green, or if you want orange, or you know, pink, or purple, or red. Um, I like blue, and I think that I have 1280 by 745 uh, clicked, but I want to go to 640 by 385. That's what I want to do, okay? So I'm hoping that it decides that, that it's going to change that. And now what I do is go back up to the embed code and copy the embed code. Okay, now what we're going to do is go back into our post and this is what I want you to remember. Remember we were talking? This is the visual editor with all these, I think they're called WYSIWYGs. Um, they're little editing tools, okay? But because we are taking HTML code from from YouTube, this is HTML, this is what it looks like, and we're going to be putting it in to our post, we want to make sure that we are matching sources, okay? So HTML has to go with HTML, it cannot go in the visual. Okay, I wanted to show you what would happen if I took that particular code, that, that iframe code, which I've never used before, so this is going to be interesting, and I put that into the visual side, the visual editor of the post, okay? Let's save that, and let's preview it to see what happens. Okay, I think it's ready. Okay, as you can see, it didn't work, okay? Now the reason it didn't work is because this is HTML. Even with the iframe, it's still HTML. So what I'm trying to say is you have to keep keep HTML with HTML. All right? You can't have the HTML in with the um, visual. So we take that, we click on HTML, we paste that back into the HTML, right? We save the draft. And then we preview it. Okay, let's preview what this looks like. All right, here we go. So this is what the video looks like as a preview, okay? This is what it looks like. Very cool. Um, it's, uh, it, I like the size of it. I like that it's a, it's a decent size. I kind of like the iframe. Uh, I might have to start using it. But that is how you embed a video. Okay, so within that particular post, you can also add text above and below the video, depending on what you want. Here's text that I just wrote. You can also write it below. Thanks again. Remember to share with friends. A lot of times in your in your posts, you know, if you're going to put text in there as well, you want to have a call to action. You want to tell them what you want them to do. If it's just simply a video that's describing uh, or, you know, like what your day was like or, you know, what uh, you did during this time, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, uh, you don't have to say have a serious call to action like click through to get to this. You can simply just say, hey, if you like this video, then uh, 
then then uh, click the like button to show that you liked it or, or share it uh, through bookmarks or Facebook or Twitter or whatever so um, so putting that in you can put text above or below save the draft and then preview it okay okay and there we are there's text right above and below of course you should also have a, a good title such as Diana and I coming from Big Bear coming from Big Bear and this is you know just for an example Biff Bear come on Big Bear Oy vey. okay Big Bear um, now what if you wanted to edit this text say you wanted to use that visual editor to edit the text if you're gonna do that create the text first in the visual alright do this first in the visual before going and putting in the video and the reason is is because if you save the video if you save the draft um, and you're going from visual to HTML it can change things around alright um, so that's my suggestion to you put the vid the text in first alright change the text around however you want it you know if you want a different color you want to make it you know aqua do something like that you do that first okay and then you do the video alright so let's save that draft and this might show you why in a minute here why you're supposed to do it that way ah yeah so as you can see the video is now gone okay and it's because we saved it after we changed this around alright now let's see what if I hadn't of save that and we were in the HTML and we put that in there we put the iframe back in save that as it is within the HTML side so we're in the content the HTML content the uh, code side now we'll go to the video to the visual all right now we don't save the draft like this because that would remove the HTML so now we just preview to see what it's going to look like and then we publish it when we want it to um, go live so, so that's what all right no wait a minute preview it did that do what I oh yes see video is gone yet the video shows here so the best thing to do is do the video the visual first and then put in the video in the HTML then save the draft in the HTML and then preview it and now there it is okay so that's about it for that particular way of embedding a video there's two more ways and I'm gonna go very quick into how what they are alright 